Hey there, everyone. Welcome to the Forgotten Trimester YouTube channel where we talk about all things postpartum. I'm your host, Dr. Megan Gray. I am a board certified OBGYN and mom of two little ones. On this episode, we are talking about the transition of breast milk. So I wanted to pop on here because so many of my patients struggle with how breast milk is made and understanding exactly what breast milk is. I hear it all the time. Well, I'm not producing any breast milk. And then here she is um, expressing colostrum. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. You are producing colostrum and you're producing a good amount of it. Um, and that is phenomenal. So I wanted to kind of just talk about how breast milk matures as you start breastfeeding. So we all start, um, well, people that have breasts that produce, um, that have the part of the tissue that can have the ability to produce milk and then also have the hormones that help produce milk. We all start producing breast milk in pregnancy. However, you're not necessarily going to leak breast milk or produce a breast milk or even colostrum in the pregnancy because the high levels of estrogen during pregnancy kind of suppress that. Then once the baby is delivered and the um, baby and the placenta is delivered, then that level of estrogen plummets like immediately, like within minutes of the placenta being removed. And then that allows your body to start really producing that colostrum and breast milk. So let's go over um, how breast milk matures. So we start with colostrum, then we move to um, transitional milk, and then we move to mature milk. So there are different qualities of the different types of breast milk as it matures. It can look a little bit different, especially colostrum versus transitional versus the mature. Um, transitional mature can sometimes look similar, but colostrum definitely has its own appearance, its appearance and it's very obvious. Um, and so, so many people discount the importance of colostrum. Good grief, colostrum is so super important. So let's not discount that anymore. Colostrum is like, if, if, if um, all breast milk is liquid gold, this is like the most rarest diamond, right? Colostrum is like the rarest diamond to sit into that liquid gold. So um, it's so important to recognize colostrum and its value. So let's um, take a look at this. So you've got on the far side colostrum, which is that dark, thick, yellow, it can kind of be sticky substance. This stuff is very low in volume, okay? So you're not gonna produce a ton of it. Now, this person, whoever collected this, produced a milliliter, that is absolutely amazing. Colostrum, like I said, is usually produced during pregnancy, but the secretion of it and the amount of it is um, reduced by the amount of estrogen that is being produced during pregnancy. It will really start to be produced once that placenta is delivered and the estrogen levels drop. And you can hand express it. Um, you can put the baby um, to the breast and latch the baby and the baby will get um, the colostrum. Now remember, in the first couple days, the baby's tummy is tiny. We're talking about like the size of a grape, guys. Like tiny, tiny, tiny. So the baby doesn't need a ton of food. Um, to to fill its belly, but the baby's belly will empty quickly because it's so small. So the baby will be feeding frequently, but will not need 10 milliliters of, of milk um, at any one time. So colostrum is the milk. We're going to all call it milk. Repeat after me. Colostrum is milk. It is produced in the first three to five days after birth, okay? That's all the baby needs. Like I said, it's low in volume, very, very dense in nutrients, lots of immune factors to help baby's immune system strengthen, and then lots of growth factors to help the baby's um, body tissues start to grow and develop even further. Then around between day three and day five after birth, you will start to produce transitional milk. And transitional milk is the milk that is produced that you probably 
probably are thinking about when you think of breast milk. It is higher volume, it's thinner, and it's more white, okay? And um, so when transitional milk starts to come in, when your body starts to produce it and we go from colostrum to transitional milk, you will notice that your breasts will get ginormous. I know, as if you felt like they couldn't get any bigger. They will get bigger. They will get fuller. Um, your skin may become taut um, and shiny. They may get painful, warm to the touch, and that's just all that um, that milk coming in. There can be some inflammatory response to that milk. All very normal, but it's very important to empty that milk. Um, so it's very important to latch baby frequently um, and completely empty the breast each time that the baby feeds. So transitional milk um, lasts for about two weeks. So from day three to five um, after birth to about two weeks after birth. Like I said, it's higher in volume. It tends to be a little bit whiter in color. It still can be a little yellow, but it tends to be a little bit whiter. Um, and um, it it actually has more lactose than colostrum dumps does. It still has some immune factors, growth factors, carbohydrates, um, fat, uh, protein, all of those macronutrients that are very important for a baby's um, development. But then it also has um, the micronutrients as well, um, like the um, um, vitamins and minerals that we all need to help our bodies go and move and do the things that we need them to do on a daily basis. Then after about two weeks um, from birth, your body will start to produce the more mature milk. And this almost looks like, a lot of people will say it looks like skim milk. Um, so it's whiter in color. Sometimes it'll be a bluish color. Um, it's thin. So it's it has more um, water, it, more of a water watery com composition than transitional milk and colostrum. It's about 80 to 90% water. It's composed of um, what we call foremilk and hind milk. And the foremilk is mostly um, water-based, um, still with nutrients, um, but it quenches that ba your baby's thirst. And then the hind milk is the dense fat that the baby gets um, to help with growth and, and development. So it's important that when you're feeding and you're producing mature milk that you feed completely on one breast at each time. So completely empty the breast first and then switch to the next breast because you want baby to receive both the hind milk in and the foremilk. Okay, so that is kind of a basic overview of how breast milk transitions and around the time frame of the transition. So colostrum in the first three to five days, transitional milk from around three to five days to two weeks, and then mature milk is two weeks and beyond. All three types of milk are very important to baby's growth and development, and you cannot discount any of them. And I know a lot of people struggle with breastfeeding, and this is not an all or nothing thing. So any little bit of, of colostrum, transitional milk, mature milk is better than nothing at all. So it's, it's important to um, work with your lactation consultant, um, work with your baby, have patience, have grace with yourself to encourage this breastfeeding journey uh, to be the po most positive thing it can be. But I want you guys to remember that um, if, if there's nothing else you get from this is that colostrum is breast milk. So many times I hear that from my patients, oh, I'm not producing milk, the baby's not getting enough. Um, colostrum is breast milk, okay? It may not be that high volume like the mature milk that you see on the other side of the screen, but it is breast milk and it is so very important. It is that rare, rare diamond that we've been mining for for thousands of years um, for your baby's growth and development. So hopefully this helps. If you like this information, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Certainly if you have any questions about any of this information, drop it below or send me a DM um, on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, check me out at Forgotten Trimester. You can check me out on my website. I do have a blog there. It's www.forgottentrimester.com. Awesome, guys. 
See you next week. Bye.